hello guys once again welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to explain how to use git ftp if you see my last video so in that video i used file filler to transfer file from my computer to my server so in this part 4 video we are going to transfer files from our clients computer to the server through git ftp as they mentioned in their user manual, if you use Git and you need to upload your files to an FTP server, Git FTP can save you some time and bandwidth by uploading only those files that changed since the last upload. It also keeps track of the uploaded files by storing the commit ID in a log file on the server. It uses Git to determine which local files have changed. Now let's see how to do it. First of all, let's create a new folder called host. After creating the folder, go to Chrome and search for Git FTP. The link will be also available in the description. So we now enter into git ftp. This is their manual and everything readme.txt everything is available here. So from here we are going to learn how to install this git ftp in your folder. Now go to the folder that we created and open terminal from there. Before performing any of the command make sure that you installed the latest version of git. Then only we can initialize our git repository there first. Type git in it to initialize your first git repository inside the folder. After initializing your repository, go to git ftp repository and copy this command from there and paste it in your terminal. Here we don't need the last part, so backspace it. Now click on enter. See here you can see that status code 200. So it represents that everything is successfully working. We don't need the second command, so we are going back to the repository readme.md file. And now perform the first three commands. Here you should replace the example.net with your file transfer protocol. So in our case we are using infinity free server. So we, are, we will go to infinity free server account. And here you can see a FTP menu. Here copy the host name and paste it in your terminal. And mention your port number also. Now copy the your domain address or your domain name which you want to upload these files. And paste it there. That's it. Now copy your username and password and place it in your second and third commands. This is the username. Let's copy this and paste it here. Here, replace the secret with your password. After logging in, you need to initialize your git repository again in the server. For that, 
type git ftp in it git ftp in it not git in it so the git ftp setup is over now let's try to make a new html file and upload it in our server using git ftp for that go to the host directory here create a new file let's name it as hello.html and open vs code from here here we can see that in the folder host there is a file hello.txt so we are now going to add contents in this file hello.html sorry hello.html so let's type hello world now create a new terminal so you can see that here the location is genuine desktop host this is why i said open vs code from that location type git add dot then git commit hyphen m then some comments that whatever you like leave it there okay here you can see that one file changed now let's push this file to the server using our ftp git ftp push is the command used for this uh, it will take some time to upload the file after pushing this update to our server let's try to change the file again put something blah 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 okay now try to push this update again to our server git add dot git commit something then git ftp push after updating our server let's go to the chrome and check the link whether it is updated or not csico.rf.gd slash hello.html yeah perfect successfully overwrite now go to vs code and try to re-edit the page i will add one more line and i will show you the update what i should write okay update it again Uh, why it is taking too much time okay reload this page see one more line is there the content is uh, updated i hope you understand how to update a page again and again now i am going to create one more page in the same folder let's name it as test.html folder created let's add some stuffs hello world this 
is Genoa's first page on web new line. Okay, let's search this content again in website. Oh, before that, I forgot to push this. So let's push this first. Too much time it is taking. Yeah, finally. Okay, let's check again with our new file. Test. See, new page is there. If you want, you can check the updated file through our server file manager. I will show you how to check that also. Okay, that's it. Now you can freely upload your files from the computer to your server using the git FTP. Only need to upload the updation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions or anything, drop it in comment box. If you have any doubt also, don't be shy to ask it in comment box. If you want, you can ask me through Facebook or Instagram. The links will be given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed well and see you in the next video.